The names Yahweh and Yahweh Shai are revealed to and worshipped by the elect. I want to give all the honor, glory, and praises unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rabacha, Kodash. Yahweh is how you say Lord or Jehovah, which is not the proper pronunciation. Then it is Yahweh, which is the Tetragrammaton, the YHWH. That's how you properly say the name of the God of Israel. And it's only begotten the son's name, who came in his name, is Yahweh Shai. Okay. Double honors to my elders at Great Millstone, taught me this truth through the spirit. Single honors to the elect. Peace and blessings to the one third of confusion the faces in the four corners of the earth. Shalom. I'm going to go into how the names are very important. Very important because Yahweh is the Heavenly Father and his son's name is Yahweh Shai. So the father's name is in the son. Hence, they are one, right? Not the same, they are one. Because in St. John, the 14th chapter, I think it's the 28th or 31st, 31st voice, verse, forgive me. Um, even the Messiah himself said that the Father is greater than I. That's why he said, if you don't believe me for the works that I do, then, you know, believe the Father. Because Yahweh Shai can't do anything without the Father. Neither can we do anything without Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai. Yahweh, the Heavenly Father's name. Ba and Ha the Sham name. Why you think the, the small hats over there in our land, they call him Hasham, which just literally means the name. Why? Because Malachi, the first chapter, the 14th verse says, his name is dreadful amongst the heathen. Why don't you call them by their names rather than calling them the name? And Yahweh Shai, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Okay? So, with that being said, I'm going to bring out some precepts to further express why the names have to be worshipped. And only the elect will worship them. I'm going to open up with Acts 4 and 12. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. You know what? That's a heavy precept because that reminds me of men today would say oh he has many names that's a devil the word devil go back to the word diablos which means deceiver or a liar and remember what john said not john i'm sorry peter said in um acts the fifth chapter could have told him matter of fact let's just get it let's just get it acts 5 spirit heavy acts 5 and 27 and when they had brought them they set them before the council and the high priest asked them, saying, Did not we straightly command you that ye should not teach in this name? And behold, ye have filled Jerusalem with your doctrine and intend to bring this man's blood upon us. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We are to obey God rather than men. So if Acts the fourth chapter said, There's no other name. Don't follow, listen to no one who says, Oh, there's many names. They are a deceiver because now you're not going to give your glory unto the father. You're going to give your glory unto another. Hence, his name is dreadful amongst the heathen. And remember what it says about going to your brother once. If he don't hearken, bring a counsel. If he don't hearken, bring him before the whole congregation. If he don't hearken, cast him out as a publican and a heathen. Right? So let's get back. <clears throat> Verse 29, then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, we ought to obey God rather than men. So the God of the Bible of Israel said it's one name. Okay. Now listen, Philippians chapter two, verse six through 10. Who being in the form of God, thought it not robbery to be equal with God. Hence him and the father are one. So are we with them? But we'll get into that later. But made himself of no reputation because he didn't come with his own will. His will was of the father and took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men. That's why they couldn't believe it. How are you the son of God? You, they were like, hold on, aren't you? Aren't you Joseph and Mary's son? Who are you? Right? So how you think they look at us when we say we're prophets? Look how they treat the Messiah. 
Remember, the servant's no greater than his master. But I'll, you know, that's another story. So let's get back to it, right? <clears throat> Verse eight. And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself, of course, because he came in the flesh and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Though he cried three times to the heavenly father in the garden of Gethsemane, he still was obedient. That's why this, his Yahweh, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh have and must be worshipped, man. Come on. Without his blood, we have no redemption. Without his sacrifice, we have no redemption, y'all. And But the Lord also sent his only begotten son. And, man. Let me get back to it. So like it. Verse 9. Wherefore, God also hath highly exalted him and given him a name, which is above every name. Once again, if you hear a so-called Christian today, modern Christian say, oh, he has many names. Walk away. Walk away. Because the Bible says different. The, the word of God says different. The word of Yahweh Shema Shai says different. All right. Verse 10. That at the name of Yahweh Shai, every knee shall bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth. Side note. If somebody comes up and say, well, you're just you're just inputting, you're inserting. It doesn't say that name that you said. What was it? Yahweh Shai? You know, that'll be rude. Not me. I won't do that to the name of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Well, then how about this? Because that's that's that was Hebrew. The Lashawan Kodash, that's what that was. This is Acts. Acts chapter 26, verse 14. This is Paul recalling what happened in Acts the ninth chapter when he fell off the um when he fell off the um the ass or the animal, whatever kind of animal it was, the beast. Acts 26 and 14, and we were all fallen to the earth. I heard a voice speaking unto me and saying in the Hebrew tongue. Even though Hebrew is written in English, the name was in the Hebrew. So we are to call on the name. It can't be the name that start with a J and end with an S. It has to be Yahweh Shai. Because the letter J did not come into existence, people, till the 15th. Hundreds. Yahweh Shai died over two thousand years ago. Like some, even common sense is like people. Why are you still calling on that name today, that J name? But once again, like the scripture says, the Lord put them in a deep slumber. You sleep. Your eyes cannot see your teachers. Mm, 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 mm. Why do you have about Shema Shai? That's not my life. Let me get back to it. Acts 26 and 14. And we were all fallen to the earth. I heard a voice speaking unto me and saying in the Hebrew tongue, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? It is hard for thee to kick against the pricks. In other words, yo, man, like you're not going to, you pretty much going against me. You think you for me. Remember? He, uh, when they killed Stephen, they, he, he, and they threw his garment at the feet of, of, of Saul at that time. Right? Verse 15, and I said, who art thou, Lord? And he said, I am Yahweh Shai, whom thou persecutest. That's why we say Yahweh Shai, because the letter J didn't exist 2,000 years ago. It only existed over, it started into, it came into fruition, into existence a little over 500 years ago. So y'all are like 1,500 some years late. Give it the program, people. And side note, I have a 1611 King James Version Bible. And whenever you read in the Bible, wherever you see a Y, like you would see in a regular KJV today, guess what? There are two letters they use to replace the um, the Y. They use the H and the I. Study to show thyself to be approved. Continuing. Spirit is, the Spirit is an autopilot right now. That's not me. So going back into... I was in Philippians chapter 2. Verse nine, wherefore God hath also, hath also have highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name, that the name of Yahweh Shai, every knee shall bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth. You should also read Colossians to the first chapter, the first chapter. Really the point is at 15 on down, but the first chapter. Hebrews 2 and 11 through 13. For both he that sanctify it and they who are sanctified are all of one, so that means we are one with Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. Why? Because we are like-minded. 
We are of the body of Yahweh Shai, us, the elect. Okay? Because why? We did not come with our own doctrine or no reputation. Unlike other camps outside of Great Bill Stone and brothers like Men of Valor and so forth. Right? <clears throat> Verse 11 again, forgive me. For both he that sanctifieth and they who are sanctified are all of one, for which cause he is not ashamed to call them brethren, saying, I will declare thy name unto my brethren. In the midst of the church will I sing praise unto thee. Remember what he said? Who is my mother, my, my father, my brother, my sister? Them that do the will of the Lord. So if you do it in the will of the heavenly father, the names will be revealed unto you. Now, let alone you do have those who are of the circumcision who know better, but they won't do better. But what it says, they mouth should be, they mouth should be shut, should be stopped. That's why, why you think the Lord said he going to deal with the house, the house, uh, well, he going to deal with his house first. It's, it's right, it's before the two thirds. It's before these Negroes out here in these goddamn Tontos and these Northerners as well, and our and our and our kingdom who know they Israelites, but they teaching a false doctrine. Those who the Lord really gonna deal with first. Two thirds, they already sealed too. But man, y'all who know better, but ain't doing better. Phew, well, so back to Hebrews chapter two, verse thirteen. And again, I will put my trust in Him. And again, behold, I am the children which God hath given me. Like I said, go back and read St. John, the 17th chapter. All right. So the Lord said he can reveal his name to his brethren. So we give all praise to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Recha, Kodash. Proverbs 18 and 10. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. When you read in the Old Testament, whenever you see the word Lord in all capital letters, that's Yahweh. Like I said, the tetragrammaton, the YHWH, the vowels are Yah, the letters are Yah, Ha, Wa, Ha, but the I at the end is silent. So it's Yahweh. Okay? So the name of Yahweh is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it. And it's safe. So if the name of the Lord is 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 what keeps us safe and what we trust in, like it said in Hebrews the second chapter 13 verse, why would I not worship his son? His name is in his son. Hello. It's like think about a mob boss, right? Hey, I'm Pacino. Who are you? I'm Pacino's son. Oh, you baby Pacino. You know what I'm saying? That's his seed. That he got the same spirit, right? So why would I give praise to the father but not his son? When the father's the head poncho but sent his son to handle business. I'm disrespecting. The name, the family name. So I'm going to give double honors to Yahweh about Shem, Yahweh Shai, about Shem, Like I said in the book of Joshua. Hey, tell us, tell her right now who you worship this day. Me and my house going to worship Yahweh about Shem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem. Rarachah rah, rah, Kodash, forgive me. Rarachah means spirit. Kodash means holy. All right. And last but not least, least, only the elect will not only know the name, but praise them. Why? Sirach chapter 17, verse 10. This is also in the Apocrypha, which is a part of the 1611 King James Version Bible. Ecclesiastica 17 and 10, or Sirach 17 and 10. And the elect. And the elect shall praise his holy name. So with that being said, praise edified and fed. Stay in the spirit. Don't fear it. Just endure it. Ask for forgiveness. Pray without ceasing. Stay humble. Remain diligent. Come on, Allah. Waffle of a ball. Shalom.